What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time we explored and infiltrated the x Not lair even more. We ended up here, I'm not sure entirely where we're at, but today we're going to be continuing on this adventure, seeing how far we can get until I guess reaching the boss of this game. I'm not sure how it works to be honest, but we're just going to keep going on. Uh, and between the last episode and now, nothing has changed. If you guys were wondering, I'm still the same level. I mean, literally, everything is exactly the same, so I hope you guys don't expect much. But anyways, before we actually begin, do me a favor and drop a like on this video. I would really appreciate it. According to a lot of you guys, we are at the end of the game. We have, uh, like, a few episodes left, so by the end of the week, I hope we should be done with this Let's Play, which is very, very exciting because... Um, for me, I mean, I felt like we've been playing this for like four or five months now, even though it's been like two, three months, but it's felt like a longer time than that just because uh, we've been dragging it on and, and skipping a lot of days. So I do apologize for that. Speaking of skipping days, I know I skipped a couple days the other day, and that is only because I was at a Nintendo Switch event in downtown Chicago. I was busy all of Saturday and then all of Sunday as well. I was busy with my family because they came over, so I wasn't able to do anything. And then Monday as well, I was also pretty busy um, however I did have a video go up on Saturday so uh, for those of you saying that you didn't upload anything like five days I, I posted something on Saturday I'm almost positive but anyways I just thought I'd explain myself real quickly just in case you guys were wondering since I know a lot of you guys always wonder where I go and why I take breaks between posting videos um, it's not that I want to do it it's just literally life gets in the way and it prevents me from actually being able to record regularly like the way I would normally want to so anyways you guys might be wondering where I'm headed I actually screwed up I was supposed to land on uh, on the uh, what's it called on like that platform that takes me to the key card I know this entire place all revolves around getting key cards and run whatnot so I'm gonna go get that key card and then use it I believe on that thing right there I think that's what I'm supposed to do well the question is how am I even supposed to get all the way up there I really don't know Okay, hold on. Let's just, you know, fly our way over there first. Why is even Vivian out? I, I guess it's okay. I mean, I don't really care that she's out anyways. Let's go ahead and grab this. There we go. We got the key card, and now we got to do this again, I'm pretty sure. So, I'm going to save just in case. Yeah, oh my gosh. We really got to do it again because we got to take that pipe. And I'm assuming that's going to take us all the way to the door. But it's whatever. It's fine. I mean, that's what they like to do. They like to drag things on, making it seem like you're doing a lot of work. Even though it's just a lot of backtracking. So, anyways, hope you guys had a great weekend. Here in Illinois, the weather has been amazing. Like, seriously, it's been great. I actually went out and I recorded a Pokemon Go video for you guys. Which, I'm not sure when it'll be up, but I'm trying to have it up uh, before the end of the weekend. Uh, it just depends on when Josiah gets around to editing that video. Like I said, he edits most of the videos on the channel that are more complex, but like... Let's Plays like this, I'm the one that tends to edit them just because they're very simple and they don't require much editing. But like the vlog that I posted yesterday and then the Nintendo Switch video that came out earlier today, uh, both were edited by him. Um, and then like some LPs, typically if I have them completely done, I'll just give them to him to do. But um, yeah, whenever he gets around to doing it, I'm sure... Uh, I'll upload it right away. Pokemon Go is something that I actually want to start doing more just because I actually play it a lot when it came out. I played it a lot and I, I always thought to myself, how come I just never record it? You know, I could record it, but I don't. It makes sense to do it since I'm playing it either way. So I think I'm going to start doing it from now on. Just recording myself playing Pokemon Go whenever I have a good Pokemon Go session. Oh my god, no! Wow, I can't believe that I did that. Okay, I'll meet you guys back all the way up there at the top. Alright guys, so I didn't notice that there was a switch behind this thing. I sat here trying to look for what I was supposed to do because none of it made sense. But there's a switch right here and I'm assuming we're going to need coops. There you go, to hit the switch. And then that should activate the stairs that we need to take all the way to the next area of this uh this 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 part i guess so i'm gonna go ahead and cut again and i'll meet you oh actually never mind well i guess there you go i, I already made it back and i'm gonna use vivian once again just because you know um i really like vivian and i feel like i don't really give her much time to play like i did with the other guys so we're gonna use her for now plus she's good the, the reason i like her is because she can attack ground enemies and then airborne enemies unlike anyone else on the team whoa ba 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 ha ha what is this 
What do we got here? Oh, it's you again. I've been waiting for you. Oh, man, I have been waiting. And I hate waiting. Well, I also hate waiting. It's Crump. You've been waiting for us. What does that mean? How funny is it that Vivian is out when uh, Crump is there? Like, it's the first time they encounter each other when, on, when she's on the opposite team now. But I'll tell you what it means. I used the crystal star to lure you here so that I could take all of your crystal stars. How brilliant is that, huh? And do you want to know the best part? Your little peachy girl isn't even here anymore. Aw, dang. Our princess is on another planet. So Peach was here. Where did you take her, Crump? Yeah, where did you take her? How come Mario doesn't talk? Bah, 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 bah. Like I tell you the plan. That's none of this villain style. No, I won't be doing anything like that. Sorry, really, guys. So, ready for showtime. You guys are going to be the perfect workout for Mon or Magnus Von Grapple 2.0. Ooh, he revamped his machine look at that dude it's like mandark versus dexter every time they always amp up their machines and their robots and then they have a nice more epic fight i hope you're up uh, to the challenge because this thing is raw horsepower kitties uh-oh here we go man it looks like cardboard i'm telling you man i mean it doesn't look that intimidating so i i don't expect it to be that tough of a battle but then again who knows we're in a paper world so this might be very intimidating bah, bah, bah. why did she say that yeah last version was buggy so we made improvements one two a dozen get ready get ready for a whole new way to experience pain uh your junior varsity losers okay you're the one who's going to suffer crump no matter how many times we do this so I can't flee this fight, obviously, and uh, I should have healed before coming here, but I guess it's whatever. So I guess starting off this battle, we're going to go with, uh, hmm, we're going to do power lift. Just because I enjoyed doing that the last time I did one of these boss battles, it increases your attack and defense depending on what arrows you click. So I'm going to click on these pretty quick. Um, I just got to find all the attack ones before they go away. Uh, I think that's how they go. There you go. I'm doing it right. There you go. Very nice. How many attacks have I got so far? I don't even want to look. We got three attacks, one defense. Perfect. So that's that's the best way to do it. You want to increase your attack as opposed to defense because defense is not really that important in my opinion. And he has 70 HP. I forgot we have a badge that shows exactly how much HP the enemies have, which is amazing. So I don't actually need to read them with Goombella and Waste to Turn. I can go ahead and just directly attack them knowing exactly how much HP they have. The only thing is it doesn't tell you how much attack and defense they, they have. But hey, HP is all that matters, right? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and attack this guy using, I guess, Shade Fist. It's the best move that we got right now with her and B. I just gotta make sure that I don't confuse the X and Y buttons. I should always switch them, but I don't know why I never do. Here it comes, suckers. Magnus, drill attack. Oh gosh, here we go. He's gonna drill us. This is not good. Ooh, and I could not block that one. I, I think I've never played this battle before this, so I'm not really sure exactly what his attacks are going to look like. Um, so moving on, we'll do power bounce. We'll see how much damage we can get out of this guy by doing power bounce. Oh yeah, bring him down to 47 HP. Not bad at all. And then we will do, I guess, Shade Fist again. I mean, what else can we do, really? And nice. I literally was about to click the X button. I got to make sure that I don't do that. Okay. Time to unleash some of the sweet special features on this bad boy. Oh, man. This is going to be so good. Uh-oh. This is not okay. What's he doing? Oh, he has rockets. Okay. So I guess we can easily take those things out. Um, Let me see. Power Bounce again. We'll go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not bad. 23 damage is amazing. And obviously with her, we're going to do, uh, let's see, attack all foes with flames. That's the perfect attack that we need to do. So A, B, X, A, A. Nice. We actually did it. And that did eight damage. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Amazing. And it killed his, uh, his, his arms. Oh, crud, you guys should be uh, little puddles of nothing by now. Oh, well, I've still got some tricks up my sleeve. What sleeves, dude? We destroyed them. What's he going to do? What's he doing right now? Uh-oh. He's absorbing the audience for HP. That's low, dude. That's very low, even for you, man. Ugh. Ugh. Eat this. Wait, what's he doing now? Wait, what's he doing? Oh, God. Oh, no. No. Ah. I'm dying. Whoa! I'm surprised I didn't die, dude. No! How? What? My sweet powered-up robot is on the ropes. This is wrong. 
Oh god, this is crazy. I could potentially die if he actually gets another attack in me. So, the thing is, Mario has 8 HP. I'm going to go ahead and use my Ultra Shroom. I do have Super Shrooms, but they only replenish 10 HP. Plus, I mean, given this guy's attacks... Uh, he, he could do a lot of damage at once, and I don't want to risk it. So, with her, we will go ahead and just do Shade Fist. Uh, just because this seems to work out pretty nicely. Doing three damage right now. I don't know what I'm going to do next uh, with Mario. Maybe I'll just go ahead and attack him by doing multi or Power Bounce. Hopefully, that'll do some decent damage. And that took... So, he's down to 10 HP. What? That's it? Okay, that's pretty nice. So, I guess we'll go ahead and do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, all he needs is three more damage, and he's done. Fiery Jinx. Let's do this, man. All right, why? Oh, I can't believe I did it again. I didn't do Jack. Because I freaking missed the attack again. All right, what's he doing now? Oh, he's about to send off a torpedo at us. Is that it for his attacks? I think that's it. Awesome. So we can just attack him with a normal bounce. One. Ah, sucker, die. Ugh. And we got 31 star points just from that battle alone. That was very close, man. I thought I was going to die multiple times in it, but thankfully, I was able to save myself. I guess it was a good thing that I bought that Ultra Shroom, or rather found that Ultra Shroom. And actually, the funny thing is, I remember picking it up before coming here. It was like in the last area that we were in. I picked it up. So thankfully, I did pick it up because it definitely came in handy. It made sense that, you know, they would give you one of these things before battling this guy. And no way, Mario! Is that really it? There's no way. We have all seven crystal stars already? How is this possible? Your star power is now A, and Mario can now use the special move Supernova. I think that's what you're gonna need to defeat the final boss of this game. Very nice. End of chapter. Oh yeah. Alright, so instead of ending off the episode like we normally do here, we're just gonna continue. The last crystal star had been hidden in the x Not hideout on the moon. But by the time Mario recovered it, Peach had already been taken away. Where could Peach be now? And what of the elusive Gro uh, Grotos? Perhaps he holds the key th uh, to the remaining puzzle. Mario finally has all seven crystal stars. Where will they lead him next? Let's find out. Let's go to Professor Franklin and see what he says. Because he's the only one that knows how to read a map, apparently, in this game. But uh, let's see. I wonder if there's going to be even a Bowser cutscene or a Peach cutscene. It would be nice to see where Peach is at, you know, what she's up to, where they kidnapped her. If she's still on the moon or somewhere else, back on Earth. Nope, they just skipped directly to Bowser. Bowser, you're always one step behind me, buddy. Well, we're here. Now, where is this stupid partially sanctum? A crystal star there, right? So they say you're a putridness, and lo and behold, there it is now, right behind you. The crystal star or the sanctum? Oh, there it is. Yeah, you're going to need a key to get in, dude. I'm sorry. I don't think anyone's going to let you in. Great. About time something worked out for old Bowser. In we go. Do you realize that the door is locked? Everybody is not here. Hey. Hey, can I talk to you guys? What's wrong? Oh, look, my heart trembles. The fountain so elegant. This art is so fine. So very observant as usual, my dear gold bob. Indeed, surely this is an artist's art. Yes, dearest, one cannot measure its worth by coins. That is what makes art art. And yet, the filthy rich always seek to define art with their ill-gotten go coins. Yes, they seek to buy it. Yet, how can one appraise what the eye cannot perceive? Whoa, I don't have a clue what you're talking about. You people scare me, seriously. Yeah, I don't know either. I guess art is a strange thing. Okay, how do we get in this thing, dude? Bowser just break it. It's locked. It won't budge. Darn it! Hey, you broke it, man. The lock broke. Oh, baby, awesome. It opened. Talk about lucky. I guess rage really pays. And in we go. Let's see if we can find this crystal star. I'm telling you, you're not going to find it, Bowser. I already took it from here. Unless you want to take the fake one and pretend you got it. Every crystal star Bowser runs into, it's always a fake. Yes, this is it, Haggy. This is finally it. Hey, Bowser got a crystal star. Oh, alas, I've got my mitts on a crystal star. Yes. Impressive work, Lord Bowser. You're the absolute best star-getting guy. Yes, now breaking his paws. Hey, detective, what do you got to say about this? You there. I have you now, villains. You are common thieves, aren't you? Aren't you? My eyes never deceive. What of it? What are you implying? I'm no little thief. I'm... Uh... A remorseless king of evil. Bowser, the remorseless king of evil. So I'll take what I want, and I want this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
But Bowser, you say remorse is king of what? What was that last bit again? Yes. Uh, well, no matter. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, so I deduced him. Then listen. Well, the that crystal is actually uh, a veritable red herring. Yes, an imposter. Oh, a fake. Yep, and it broke. Obviously, Bowser shocked. But look at this fancy display. The pedestal and everything. It's so posh. If it's fake, then where's the real one, huh? If you must know, I gave it to the real one, to Luigi. You have to be kidding me. You mean to tell me that Luigi beat me here? Ah, those Mario brothers are the most annoying brothers of all time. <sighs> How bothersome. The fact that we uh, keep being outmaneuvered is disturbing. But where in the world could Mario and his brother be heading? Where? Yes, where? Uh-oh. You keep breaking stuff. You gotta stop pounding. Lord Bowser! What happened? Who's here? Oh, it's a paratrooper. Ahem, Paragoomba. Why are you so worked up over? Hmm, tell me. Now reporting, sir, uh, and uh, ma'am, sir and ma'am. Mario collected the seven crystal stars and headed for the thousand year door. Uh oh. Uh huh, what? The thousand year door? What in the heck is that? The thousand year door, an unbelievably legendary treasure that is, uh, is behind that door. Ugh. Oh. Then I'm going there too. Immediately, and I'm going to ruin Mario. Bowser. You always want to ruin Mario, but guess what? It never ends up well for you. So maybe you should just, you know, chillax and go home this time. Well, you know now, Luigi, well done, lad. You will not fail yet. It's not Luigi. They're going to go after poor innocent Luigi, dude. Luigi has nothing to do with this. Ah, uh, if my brother gets kidnapped, Bowser, I'm going to kill you. One in, once and for all. This time it's over, dude. GG. We finally got all seven crystal stars. Yes, now we can open the thousand year door. Um, but, but what? We still don't know where Peach is. Who cares about Peach? We can get the legendary treasure behind the door. Well, let's head back to Rogueport, I guess. Professor Franklin might be able to help us find the Princess Peach, right? Yes, he will. So the question is, if I go back this way, can I just find, like, take, take, like, an exit or something without having to walk all the way back to Rogueport? I guess I do. Wow, this is gonna suck. Uh, what was the... Hold on, I'm trying to think. Choose your destination, sub-level 2. I think it was sub-level 2. There was a room in sub-level 2 where I could go ahead and just take the room all the way to the thousand year door. I think that's what it was. It could be not this one. Was it... It wasn't this one. Was it... Wait, what if it wasn't even on this floor? It won't move. What the heck? So how do they expect you to get out of here? It won't open. Are you serious? This game is being for realsies right now. They could have at least helped me out and, you know, started me back at the beginning. Or at least, you know, in Rogueport. That would have been nice. But instead, they just give you one elevator to work with. They're like, nope, that's all you get. Does this open? It won't open. Literally, none of these things won't open. Oh, okay, that's strange. I guess we can't get back this way after all. Let's look for another way out, Mario, okay? What's the other way out, madam? You want to tell me? She's not going to tell me. I guess they did this on purpose. Maybe they're trying to make it hard for you. Let's go to sub-level 3 then. Maybe we'll find something there. I, that's the thing though. I, like I said, I don't know this area very well. It's just everything here is just too big. Let me guess. Won't budge? Yep, obviously won't budge. Um, let's try this. Oh, wow. It actually opened. Surprisingly, we found a door. Wasn't I just here? I feel like I was just here and the key cards won't work on this thing. Are you serious? This is really what's going to give me trouble right now. Just trying to exit this place. Okay, I guess we'll try sub-level 4 then. So far, 2 and 3 don't work. I guess 4 is the only way out. And if not, then seriously, I don't know what this game expects from me. If everything is locked, then... Okay, wow, we finally did it. Princess Peach's room. Oh my god, that is Princess Peach's room. And her bathroom. What am I supposed to do in the bathroom, dude? What am I supposed to... Is there something in these lockers? Nope, you can't open them. Wow, this is this is miserable. This is like, uh... This is like, uh, what's it called? A, um... What do they call those, uh, those, those, uh... Those mental security ward thingies? No windows, nothing. Ooh, text room. Where are we? I don't know. Is tech dead? My boy tech. Is you dead, boy? Uh-oh, he's, he's waking up. He alive? You! Are you Mario? Are you not? I am Mario. 
It is pleasant to meet you. I am the main computer of this fortress. I am tech. I must tell you something. This is why I brought you to this place. Princess Peach. What about Princess Peach? I, I am so sorry. Most of my data was erased and my main power unit was shut down. Now running on backup power with only cached memory trying to stay operational. Well, what's the problem? Mario, you know that Peach is not here, do you not? I know that now. Please save Peach, please, please. Princess Peach is with Grotos in the Palace of Shadows. I had to tell you that. Okay, so now we know where Peach is. The Palace of Sh that's it, and he's gone. Rest in peace, dude. But, backup power failing. Mario, use the teleporter room to get back to Rogueport. Teleporter room is on sub-level 2 on the fortress. I will release the room lock. Princess Peach is in the Palace of Shadow. Please hurry, this is barely enough power left to activate the teleporter. I will cease all functions to send power to the teleporter for you. Alright, let's go. But what will happen to you? He will die, who cares? When the power is all gone, I will cease to exist as an artificial consciousness. But if, I, it, will, but if it will save Peach, I would gladly do this. Because until I met Peach, I knew nothing of love. And now you love her, obviously. Wow. Do not worry about me, I am just a computer, just a machine. Mario, you must save Peach. I ask you, please, and tell her I love her. That's it, he's he's gone. Oh, that's it, his last and final memories. Thank you for me. Okay, well that's not what I expected. We understand, Tech! So hurry to the teleporter room now. Mario, save her! Alright, let's go. This is sad, man. Tech system failure reported. Oh, Mario, we have to save Peach for Tech too. All right, let's go. Wait, actually, I wonder what's over here. I always wonder. Nope, there's nothing. Tech's room is literally just one room. There's nothing else going on in Tech's room. All right, let's get out of here real quick. Sub-level 2 is what it is. See, I knew it was not sub-level 2. But again, I thought this game was just being a little weird and it wasn't letting me exit because they wanted me to do something specific. And it turns out that's what it was. Okay, so let's go ahead and find this teleporter room and be gone. Is it in this room? I'm thinking I'm thinking it's this one, right? Is it this one? Nope, it's not this one. Well never mind. Maybe it's the one over to the left. A little more. Maybe? I think it's this one. I don't remember these places, like I said. Yeah, there it is. Alright, here we go. Activate the switch. Alright, here we go. Back to Rogueport, guys. Off the moon, all the way to Rogueport. That must be some intense power. I don't think ever in humanity will be able to develop that kind of technology. Like seriously, I just imagine like de molecule, de just becoming molecules, little particles into space, and then generating back into normal. Goodbye. Oh, if this moon explodes, I'm so done. Better not explode the moon. Wait, what? The moon is gone? Oh my gosh! I guess we can't get back to the moon anymore. That's it. It's over. Did you hear something just then? No, I did not. Anyways, we're back here in Rogueport finally, man. It feels great. Well, if it isn't Mario. Hey, Professor Frankly, over here, son. What's wrong, dude? What could I do you for? You brought the crystal stars back from the moon with you, didn't you? Yes, I did. What? Talking my good ears. The x not fortress was on the moon. Ah, yeah, so Princess Peach was there too, I assume. And yes, but she's not with us. Well, yes, but the x not boss took her and took off for the Thousand-Year Door. Ah, just a bit ago, I smelled some rank air, and I went to the Thousand-Year Door. I saw a suspicious fellow in a cape go through the door with Princess Peach. What? Are you serious? Didn't it legend say that all seven crystal stars were needed to open the door? Maybe they forced their way in. Believe me, I know, but I'm, I'm quite certain of what I saw with my own eyes. I have a very bad feeling about this. Very bad. Princess Peach is in danger. Time is short. We must go to the Thousand Year Door and rescue Peach. I'll run ahead and meet you there. Don't dwaddle. You must come immediately. Alright, so that's what we're going to be doing, guys, but not in today's episode. We got an email. It's no time for emails right now. We're going to save, and we're going to heal, and then we're going to come back tomorrow and head to the Thousand Year Door and see what's going on. It's going to be the biggest encounter ever of this game. Mario meeting Peach, Bowser meeting Peach and Mario, and Grotos, and then Grotos and his team meeting all of us as well. So it'll be a lovely encounter, but thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, do not forget to drop a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.